Hey y'all, it is Heather with Jumping Spiders USA. Go ahead and find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Jumping Spiders USA and join us over there. Be sure to give this video a like, um, subscribe, and then after you subscribe, click the little bell so you get notifications for all upcoming future content. Um, also, if you are in the market for a care guide, check out jumpingspidersusa.com. So today's video, it's not a very pleasant topic, but it's one that I think we need to talk about. So you have an elderly spider, and how do you know if your jumping spider is elderly? Well, they don't live a long time. Like two to three years is an absolutely ancient jumping spider. So a female, she's probably going to make it more like, I don't know, 18 to 24 months. If you have an 18 month old um, female jumping spider, she's pretty old. If you've got a male, more like 12 to 15 months. Um, oftentimes they don't make it too long after maturity. He may mature and then, you know, sometimes right after maturity, um, he'll die. Sometimes you get a little bit more time with him. But you know, they are not here for a long time. Apparently, they're here for a good time. So what can you do to help ease their passing? Or if you notice that they're not doing well, um, just make them as comfortable as possible. Sometimes you can give them some honey water or sugar water. And sometimes people are like, well, how do I make that? Or how, what are the ratios? And really when I make it, um, I don't follow any particular recipe, but it's mostly just you, however much warm water and then however much sugar or honey until, you know, it dissolves and then put that on a Q-tip and um, you can give them that. Sometimes that can help perk them up towards the end, help them feel better. Um, you can try giving them mushed up prey. Like, for example, you can take a wax worm and this is... <sighs> little gross but you can um you know split it in half and take some tongs or tweezers and put it right up to your spider and sometimes they will you know get a little um get a little snacky snack and that can help them um sometimes if you notice towards the end they may be falling a lot they may not be able to climb very much anymore and for times like that, you can put some mesh or netting um, or little odds and ends to help them climb better in their enclosures because they start to lose that ability as they age. That's another thing that you can do for them. And then, so let's talk about the very, the very hard thing. So euthanasia of jumping spiders, yay or nay. And personally, how I feel about this is I am okay with whatever anyone else is okay with. I do not have a preference for anyone else. What I personally do is I have never been able, I've never been able to ease their suffering by, for lack of a better word, killing them myself. I've never been able to do it. However, sometimes I wonder if I've got a spider that I know they're on the way out, it's obvious. I, sometimes I wonder if it is kinder to just help them because sometimes it takes a long time and you're just like, oh my gosh. And you know, it pulls on your heartstrings and it can be very sad. So what can you do then? And if, you know, all your other measures to help perk them up are not working and it's very obvious that, you know, they're on the way out, what can you do? <sighs> well, some people, I can tell you what some people do. Some people will freeze their spider. Um, that's an option. I've heard varying things about that. Um, I've heard that they do feel um, pain. I've heard that they do not. That's something that you're going to have to research and decide for yourself. Um, personally, though, I mean, I can, I can definitely understand the benefits for the person doing the freezing, you know, uh, you just put them in the freezer. But if I were going to help a spider out at the end, what I would personally do is I would probably just do 
a really quick squish and then it's over and then it's done. And that's probably the harder thing to do though. Honestly, that would be so, so difficult to do. So if those are not options for you, really just a spider at the end of their life, make them comfortable, you know, help them climb as best as you can. Um, sugar water, honey water, regular water, um, split a mealworm or waxworm, something like that, and, and feed them the goo from the inside and just, you know, spend some time with them and, uh, enjoy them while you've still got them. And then after they have passed, um, oftentimes they will go into the death curl and that's how you will know. And, you know, after a few hours or a day or two and they haven't moved, you know, you can be sure that it, uh, that your spider is dead once they've gone into the death curl. However, sometimes they can be dead and they are not in the death curl, but they are still dead. Um, and then, you know, that what you would know by same thing, few hours, a day or two, no movement. Um, they're probably dead. I'm also going to link down in the description to a video I made about, um, preserving them in resin. That's an option that once they die, that that's something that you can do. I know sometimes other people, they'll take those little teeny tiny vials. I'll find the link to those two. You can find them on, um, Amazon, I think those little teeny tiny glass vials with the cork stoppers and you can put like alcohol or hand sanitizer in there and you can preserve them that way. Um, that would be really cute, like up on a shelf, your little teeny tiny spiders. Um, so those are some things that you can do with those. And I know it's very heartbreaking. Like a lot of people will, they're, you know, in the group, I hear it at least weekly that they'll say, I never thought I would cry over a spider and they really grow on you and it is sad. And anytime that happens, you know, like probably daily, we get, um, a post over in the group, you know, people, people looking for commiseration and support that their spider has died. And it's just, all I can ever say is I'm so sorry for your loss. So if that is why you're here, let me just say, I am so sorry for your loss. And you don't have to feel silly because it's just a spider because we love our spiders like we love whatever else. So with that said, I'm rooting for you. Find us over on Facebook at facebook.com slash groups slash Jumping Spiders USA. More info and care guide at jumpingspidersusa.com and we'll see you there.